You are probably familiar with this scene. You are heating water and it just starts to bubble up. This happens because the water at the bottom where you are applying the heat evaporates and expands, and water in its vapor form is less dense than its liquid form, and that makes it go up. Which makes me wonder, is there a gas that can be more dense than a liquid so it doesn't go up? But first, what is density? Badly explained, it is the amount of mass in a given space, or mass divided by volume. For example, if you combine water and oil, the oil floats over water because there's less mass in the same amount of space and they don't combine because they have different densities. You could say that the basic rule is that the order in which substances stack is determined by their density. The more dense, the lower it goes and vice versa. So if we want our gas to stay at the bottom, it needs to be more dense than the liquid at the top, which translates to that it has to have more mass. There is just one issue. Well, multiple, but we'll get there. By their nature, gases tend to have less mass per volume than liquids. In liquids, the molecules tend to be packed together and move freely within its own volume. That is why water takes the form of the container you put it in. Gases, on the other hand, are really loosely packed, so its molecules don't tend to stick together. That's why it's formless and it cannot take a shape even in a container. But instead, the molecules keep moving and bouncing in their available space, so gases tend to occupy their available volume, which will come handy in a second. So that seems like a deal breaker, right? By definition, liquids are more tightly packed together than gases. Well, gases have a trick up their sleeves too, and that is that gases can be compressed. If we grab gas molecules and put some pressure on them, we could pack them more tightly and we could have more gas in a given volume. Technically, liquids can also be compressed, but as they are already packed, the compression is so little that they're sometimes referred to as mostly incompressible. And, well, this is good, because if I add enough pressure to my imaginary kettle, I could compress the gas in a manner so it is more tightly packed together and more dense than the liquid. Right? Well, no. Because if you add enough pressure to pack gas molecules that close together, you basically have a liquid. Damn, we're back to score one. Okay, so what if I, I don't know, what if we turn off the heat? Liquids become gases if we apply heat, right? Well, yeah, that could work. The thing is that the more pressure you put, the more heat you need to maintain a gas from condensing. So we need to put enormous amounts of pressure on our kettle and heat it so much that our gas cannot condensate and theoretically, we can have a gas that is more dense than a liquid. But in practical terms, it's not that easy. <sighs> If we put that much pressure on heat, we pass what is known as the critical point and get a supercritical fluid. And a supercritical fluid, badly explained, is basically a combination of the gas and liquid phases. There is so much heat and pressure that both phases become indistinguishable. This is what we believe happens in the atmospheres of gas giants like Jupiter. And sadly, we don't know any two substances that we can pressurize and heat so much that the gas becomes more dense than the liquid and they don't become supercritical. So, to conclude, is there a gas that can be more dense than a liquid so it doesn't go up? I mean, yeah, in theory, there could be with all the things I explained, but in reality, um, no. At least, not with the substances we know of. <laughs> <laughs>